welcome. So, I want to take this time to actually introduce to you a video idea that I was actually dying to do for a long time. So basically, ang gusto kong gawing premise ng video na nasa otak ko for a long time is I want to discuss four things about a certain car. It may not be this car, it may be my Camry, other people's cars, a car na gusto ko nang i-drive nang matagal. Pero, I need your ideas. I can actually try this to be a pilot episode as well. I want to discuss four things about a car. Okay? The good, the bad, the price, and the mods na pwede natin gawin sa coaching yun. So, let's start with this car. Who knows, di ba? Tapos, gusto ko, comment kayo sa baba, tingnan natin kung ano yung pwede natin gawing format. Actually, wala pa rin akong tawag dito. Hindi ko alam kung tatawag ko. Nasa utak ko, what's it like to have a Lexus IS? Or, a day with the Lexus IS? Or, so you want to buy a Lexus IS? What do you think? Let me know. I, I don't know what to name it, what to call it, but here's a format na gusto kong gawin. I just want to make a content na pwede natin paulit-ulitin dito sa YouTube channel natin. I can use my skill, my talent to, to speak out or to just talk to the camera to explain a little things about cars na gusto nyo my experience. So let's go, let's try it. Alright, to start off, we have our Lexus IS 350 F Sport 2014. Let's have a quick walk around the car. Okay? I'm not gonna tell anything about the car yet. But we are going to discuss the good, the bad, the price, and the mods about this car na pwede mong gawin. And nagawa ko na. Under the hood, we have a 3.5 liter, liter V6 engine. That's why it's called the IS350. Kasi it's a 3.5 liter V6. Nothing fancy. This engine has been here since 2008. The 2GR V6 ng Toyota has been hailed to be one of the most reliable, best sounding V6 na naturally aspirated in the market. Not that fast, around 300 horsepower. Decent for a naturally aspirated old engine. And of course, it's reliable. Toyota reliability is one of the best quirks or this is why you will buy a Lexus is because it's a basically a Toyota, a glorified Toyota. Another thing to note about this Lexus engines is, especially this F-Sport model, meron silang nilagay ditong parang acoustic speaker. Okay? Remove the engine cover. Papakita ko sa inyo. May nilagay sila ditong acoustic speaker na binabato yung engine noise, yung intake noise sa loob ng cabin na nanggang show ito yun. So as you can see, ito yung naked engine natin, 2GR. You have the intake box here. Shout out, KNN. So that acoustic speaker is actually right beside the intake pipe. Ito siya. As you can see, there's a bypass hose here goes to this speaker-like thing and meron siya ditong hole. It actually pipes acoustic sound ng intake mo papunta sa firewall. And you hear that. And you hear that. You literally hear that inside the car. That's actually a little quirk na nagustuhan ko sa engine na to. And it actually blew my mind no na-realize ko hindi pala siya fake engine noise. Let's try to get you in. I'm gonna take the microphone and put it on the dashboard or something. You can't really differentiate it from the from the microphone, I think. Pero when you're when you're driving hard, when you're driving hard, you'll you'll hear that whining noise. It's your intake. Alam mo pumapasok yung hangin, and that's what I like about this car. It sounds so raw. Even though there's so many electronic shits na dito ngayon, it's, it, it, it sounds really raw. Ngayon, on this premise of the engine bay, there's, there's one thing that I don't like about this car. Okay? It's not related to the engine. It's not related to the suspension. It's related to the safety feature ng kotse, which is arguably the most redundant thing na ginawa ni Lexus sa kotse ito. Alright, I'm gonna show you. This is the bad. If you look closely on the side of the Lexus, may makikita sa engine bay, makikita ka nito. This is actually an explosive charge, okay? That is called a pop-up hood. From the word itself, it pops the damn hood upwards. So when you get into a collision, mag a to, sasabog to, pataas. It will actually pop your hood upwards and make your hood leveled upward para if ever magkaroon ka ng slow speed collision, kung sino yung mabunggu mo, hindi tatama yung ulo nila dito. For example, so, in a, in a, in a low-speed collision, okay, let's say, okay, let's say lang, 
may nangyari, nabunggo, may nabunggo ka at low speed, the pop-up hood right there will explode and if ever yung ulo mo nabunggo ng Lexus, it's not gonna hit the engine block. Tataas yung hood para masop, madampin yung ulo mo sa engine block ng kotse. Pero that is one thing I don't like about the engine bay of the car. That's the bad. Why? Tayo na bros, magkano isa nun? One piece is 80,000 pesos. Don't ask me why. Don't, ma don't ask me why I know that. Okay? Don't ask me why I know that. Alright, on the front of the car, as you can see, you're greeted with the Lexus grille. And probably that's the good part of the front of the car is that you're greeted with a very big grille. Iconic to in 2014 and onwards. It's li literally, it's what Lexus is now. And that's really an icon. I had the plate number removed from the, from the center and moved to the sides. So you can actually appreciate the front grilles, diba? If there's a bad thing about the front side of the car, it's that it doesn't have fog lights. There are F-Sport bumpers doesn't have fog lights on it. If you're getting the F-Sport, you have some air dams here, left and right. This is actually a brake cooling duct. Butas to, papunta sa loob ng preno mo. So that's something I like about the front end of the car. That, that, that is ugly for me. That is ugly. I don't like it. Okay? Headlights, nah, kind of okay. Another distinct feature ng kotse sa unahan is the Lexus Check DRL. That really makes you know that it's a Lexus. Alright, let's light it up. On the next episode of this video, maybe I should bring a tripod. I don't have a tripod. <laughs> Does it light up? Did it light up? So the over, overall, the front of this car looks really amazing. Looks aggressive, but... It's really outdated for this time na. Moving along sa side ng kotse, this is a bit difficult for me because half of the car sa gilid looks great on my eyes. Pero yung kalahate is ugly for me. I don't know if you can see it, pero from the front to the middle, it's, I don't like it. I don't like the body line here. It looks bulky. I don't know. Parang hindi match yung gilid ng kotse sa likod. Kasi tinan mo yung likod. From the rear side, you have this long sweeping line from the taillight going down. So yun yung gusto ko dun sa... Likod. Pero when you come into the front, I don't know, it, it loses its... Nawalan siya, ng, nawalan siya ng style dito sa part na to. I don't know what happened. It's always been my gripe with the Lexus, ang pangit nung kalahati on the side view. But if you look at the back, wow. Long sweeping line, taillight, papuntang side skirt, mm, just pretty. And on the rear side of the car, you're greeted with a classic Lexus taillights. The good thing about this taillights is it's really huge. It occupies a good amount of real estate sa likod ng kotse. And then you will actually see the long sweeping line that meets the taillight to the side of the car. And just great. Okay? The rear side of the car is quite iconic. I like it. It's not too busy. It's not too boring. It's just right. Actually, I like the front and rear side of this car. Yung gilid lang talaga ang hindi ko gusto. Another thing to like about this car is its side profile here. Right, the fenders are bulging out on this side. See that? I like that. It it gives a wide angle aspect of the car. Sa trunk naman, eh, it's not that big. It's not that small. Pero it works. So meron kan decent amount of space dito sa likod. Well, I can fit my golf bag easily, right? Shouldn't be a problem for you guys as well if you're going to own this car. I put my air suspension system there at the top. We have my little toolbox there, just in case something goes wrong. Another great feature ng trunk niya is that you can actually recline the back seat. Something na wala yung Camry ko that gave me a lot of problems when I'm carrying stuff. My Camry doesn't have this because meron siyang ba no, automatic back recliner shit. And that's really a deal breaker for me kasi... That's why I carry this car most of the time. I drive this car most of the time because you can actually bring it to places a lot better than the Camry because you can carry stuff more when it's a bit long. Another cool thing about the back seats is that you can actually unlock. You can actually unlock and lock the back seat reclining if you don't want them to you know, recline it. Another weird thing about the trunk ng Lexus na ito is that this is, this is the reverse light and this is the rear fog lights. So when you're reversing, Okay? When you're reversing, a lot of people will be like, Sir, 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 isa lang yung reverse light mo. No, actually, that's actually by design. This is the reverse light and that's your rear fog lights. 
So that's like really confusing for some other people pag tinutulungan ka nila mag-reverse. Sabihin nila, sir, pundi yung isa mong reverse light. Then you're gonna be like, oh no, it's actually the rear fog lights on the left. There's actually a little button here. Okay? On top of the IS, meron siyang rear trunk button para magbuka siya. That's something that you should know. Sometimes kasi nahinahanap sa gitna eh. Asa na yung button sa gitna? Actually, it's right here. Weirdly enough, it's not on the center. Like, I don't know, Lexus, Lexus is weird. So as you can see, wala akong masyadong masabing masama sa trunk o sa likod ng kotse ito. Because I like the rear of this car. It's really nice. There's nothing much to hate. There's a wide body fender, good amount of space, reclining back seats. There's a nice dual tip exhaust. Okay? Exhaust no time. So, sa narinig nyo, that's actually a muffler delete lang. Okay? That's really cheating. <laughs> it sounds so good, pero ang tinanggal lang namin dito is yung muffler. It, we kept the resonator, catalytic converter, and dyan pa rin. Most of the stuff na stock exhaust niya, dyan pa, muffler delete lang talaga siya. So, it sounds really nice. V6, bro. For the wheels naman ng kotseng ito, I actually... Just copied this from YouTube. I saw an IS350 na may gantong wheel setup and I was like, I like it. And this is actually a Work Emotion CR2P. We actually have a big brakes. Four pot big brake dito sa unahan. Decent, not that strong, but it could be better. I wish Lexus can actually put something here like a name. Para mas kita yung big brakes niya. If, if you don't point to people na naka BBK ka sa unahan, then they won't really know. So, yun lang naman yung issue ko sa, sa unahan ng coaching to sa wheels natin. Tapos, wishbone suspension sa unahan. Double wishbone suspension, actually. Alright. On the rear side naman, we are actually greeted with a 19 by 105 Okay? Michelin Pilot Sport, 26530. So, the best part about the rear side of the suspension ito, sa rear ng coaching to, is when you air out the car. Am I right? Am I right? So that's the best part of that, the rear side. It's that you can really tuck big wheels on the on the rear and pasok lang siya. Pasok, sakto yan. Sakto lahat yan, pakita ko sa inyo. Can I actually see, shoot siya sa loob. There is no rubbing on this. I can actually drive the car like this, aired out. <laughs> so that covers much about the exterior of the car. The engine, the exhaust, the wheels, all of that. So, so far so good. Let's go to the interior side of the car. Pakita natin yung mga interior impressions natin. And right out of the bat, it looks really good. I know I'm not yet inside the car, pero the first distinct or the good of the interior of the car is that it's very distinct. Pop na pop yung pulang interior ng Lexus natin if wala kang tint. Looking outside the car with a distinct interior is like a great impression for me. One of the key features na nagustuhan din ng girlfriend ko is ang ganda ng interior ng coaching to. So let's discuss. Let's start off with the driver's side of the car. On the side, we got red leather on the side trims. We got a nice F-Sport leather seat na kulay pula. Okay? The bad thing about this seat is that due to the fixture here or the bolster on the side, this is where you usually hit your butt on. And it's gonna rub like this, inevitably. So that's something you need to know and something you need to address yourself in the future. Pag nakatangos na yan, you can upholster it. But yeah, as for the rear seats naman, same red interior. Okay, red trim panels. Really distinct red color ng interior natin sa loob. It actually matches well with the gray color at outside. See, the transition from metallic gray to red is actually a really nice touch. Cargo space sa likod, well... I'll just show it to you. Hindi naman siya ganong kalakihan. It is not a big space for an adult, but not a small space for an adult as well. It's usable. One thing I don't like about this rear passenger seats is that there's a big bulge there. If you're like a third passenger, this will be an annoying, like, how do you, how do you sit? Okay? This is not a car for five people. You cannot sit on the middle. Really. Wala, wala. wala. This, this bulge here won't allow it. It won't allow it. So as for headroom, Headroom sa rear seats ay yan. I'm 5 foot 7, 5 foot 8. And yeah, it's gonna hit me already. On the middle. But if we slide here, 
there's a good decent amount of space but as I've told you a while ago this is not the best space for a adult of my size it, it's doable see not bad but you won't really get that comfortable legroom space so yeah you know what I mean it's doable but man it's just gonna when you want to relax like wala yan na yayakapi mo na yung yayakapi na ng paa mo yung front seats ng driver okay it's not the best legroom okay it's, it's it's an okay headroom but legroom's just uh, god damn it's cramped here that's my concern about the rear side of this car if you are going to own this car hindi ka naman magpo-focus sa likod eh. you're going to be on the cockpit and you have a passenger here lovely lady probably and you have a sunroof man that's the best part of this car okay there are two things that you should know sa unahan ng coaching ito is that this center console is huge this could be a this could be a great thing for you pero sa akin sometimes i feel claustrophobic this is just you know you'll see when i get on the driver's side i'll show it to you but yeah you have to worry about the center side is actually massive okay the center console is actually a niche or a callback to the lfa lexus lfa shout out mcdonald's for the iced coffee on the driver's side you're greeted with a lovely cockpit looking style interior start the engine digital gauge cluster okay and right off the bat papakita ko yung party trick na meron to if you press this button you can actually move your gauge cluster so that's something that you should know this is actually a callback din sa LFA Lexus LFA yung moving gauge cluster na yan really, really nice touch another good thing about the interior is that you get heated seats or cooled seats okay you can actually activate the blow blower the blower on the seats and kakaroon siya ng hangin on your ass okay you can actually set it kung ano mang heat temperature niya kung anong temperature mo dito yun din ay bubuga niya dito sa pet mo and then sa may likod mo right wala dito but dito lang so yun so majority of the interior of the car is really good okay there's not much to you know hate about there's more to love than hate but nonetheless there's one last thing na gusto na ayaw ko sa interior ng kotse na to that they should have just fixed until now sa year 2022 na Lexus IS hindi pa rin nila na ayaw sa na-perfect yung one thing na ayaw na ayaw ko sa kotse to okay here it is the shitty ass fucking infotainment system is just terrible okay i don't i don't even use this ang ginagamit ko lang dito ay media and then Bluetooth. That's it. That's it. Wala na. Okay? I hate it. I hate it. But I like this. This is a nice touch. Sa gabi, this lights up really well. The Lexus claw on the middle. I don't know. If this car had the like Apple CarPlay Android Auto, wala na. Tapos na. That's probably something you need to upgrade if you're gonna buy a Lexus IS na gantong year model or kahit yung latest year model. Get an Android Auto or Apple CarPlay na head unit and you're gonna be like, Poof! Best car ever. Promise. Okay? So, another another cool feature sa, sa climate control. I really have to applaud them for the climate control. The climate control of this car is mwah. Okay? Great. Really great. If you want to adjust your temperature, just slide it like this. And that's really responsive. I want it 22, no problem. The slider works well. Okay? I like the phys physical touch buttons. If I adjust it like that, walang problema. Really, really nice touch. And this is something na canary over nila sa latest model. Which is good, okay? Which is really good. It is really nice. I like it. So that's going to be most of the good, the bad about this car. Now, let's just have a, a small lunch lang. Hindi ko pa nalalunch tong kunching to. I, I owned this car for almost two years and I never did a, like, a launch control. I don't know if it has launch control or accelerate lang natin. I have not tried that. Let's, let's see. I don't know. Come on. Ready? Let's go. So, how was it? I don't know. I didn't see it. The Lexus IS350 nowadays will cost you around an average of 1.5 million pesos. 
with a low mileage, probably around 30,000 kilometers pababa. Are you surprised na yung gantong kotse affordable na? Check it out, Marketplace. Um, I'm going to search now. Ay lalagay ko sa screen. Marketplace. 1.5 million. May mga 1.4 million na nga nito eh. It's a great engine, great chassis, great suspension, great interior, sounds good, great stance platform as well, looks great, it's affordable now. That is siguro hindi, but it's actually really affordable nowadays. So, let's go drive the car and let's close the video. Conclusions. If you know your suspensions, then I would, and you would know na double wishbone on the front, multi-link sa likod, okay? Both front and rear are independent. That's something na really impressive for what's this car worth nowadays. 1.5 million for a double wishbone suspension and multi-link sa likod. Even the SDI doesn't have a double wishbone sa harap. Even the Porsche 911 doesn't have a... It has a McPherson sa unahan. So double wishbone suspension sa front translates to a very nice ride, very soft ride pag naka-stock suspension. And now I'm on bags and still, the IS350 suspension has still proven itself worthy of a nice driving car. Ang pogi mo sa coaching to, yun lang talaga ang masasabi ko. Ang pogi mo sa coaching to, and great, great interior. The, the girls will love this car. If you have a girlfriend, a wife, they're gonna love this car. Kasi the interior is really flashy, red. Pag magsa-selfie sila, ganito sila. Pag magsa-selfie sila, ganito. Selfie sila dyan, red interior, ganyan sila. Pak, 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 pak. It's a great car for dating talaga. Taking out your girlfriend, your wife on a date with this car, it's just gonna feel great. It's just both for both of you. But that has been it. The good, the bad, okay? And the price when owning a Lexus IS350. That's my thoughts, and I hope that will translate to you. Comment down below. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this. We have a lot of air suspension content on the regular. Do I think this is a great car? Heck yeah, it's a great car. I bought it, dude. So, stay tuned to the next video. Thank you for watching. Let me know down below your thoughts. And let's see if we can make another episode like this, right? So, it's been Cal from Fitment Engineering and you're watching Fitment TV. See you in the next episode.